What's up everybody? This is Betty Garza, local realtor right here in South Florida. And this video is gonna tell you the top five reasons not to move to Florida. And we're getting at it right here. So I know that everybody tells you all the reasons why to move to South Florida, but this video, I wanna let you know the top five reasons why you should not move to Florida. And on this channel, I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, playing, living, working right here in South Florida. If this is your first time to this channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'm getting phone calls, emails, text messages every day from people that are looking to relocate right here to South Florida and I absolutely love it. All right, so the reasons why you should not move to Florida, the top five, we're getting at it. Make sure to stay tuned to that last one because like myself, I feel like a lot of you could relate to it and people also I think are most concerned about it. Okay, so let's get at it. The reason number one not to move to South Florida is the weather. Okay, the weather is very different here. Now, the main thing is humidity. Humidity is something that us ladies do not like. We straighten our hair and by the end, or even by noon time, the humidity causes it to go curly again, to frizz up. So humidity is a big deal here. Um, it will cause you to sweat, literally walking to your car from your front door. Uh, men prepare for your shirt to look all sweaty and wet. It's just life around here. Humidity is one of the things that um, I do not personally like about South Florida, but it comes with the territory. Honestly, here in South Florida, we do have a lot of beautiful weather sometimes, but it also has its cons, which is we get a lot of rain here. Through the summertime, if you're here vacationing, yes, absolutely, you're gonna be looking for the sun, you're gonna be wanting to tan and get that nice tan going on, but eventually the heat catches up to you. It does get very, very, very hot. You will literally be looking for shade. You will, you know, not like the sun so much once you get that tan uh, going. So the heat, the humidity are two major things with the weather here in South Florida that can be something that's not for everybody. And along with the weather comes hurricanes. Hurricanes is a big deal here in South Florida. It's uh, the major thing that occurs from between the months of June and November. Those are our hurricane months. And the good news about a hurricane with here in South Florida is that we do get plenty of warning when it comes to a hurricane. Uh, and what's actually happening right now, the reason why it's so windy is that we are actually expecting a hurricane. Hurricane Ian is heading towards uh, the west coast of Florida. And when I say West Coast, I mean the Tampa area. That's where the main part of the hurricane is heading. I'm about four hours southeast of Tampa. And here we will be getting a lot of rain, a lot of wind, but not to worry. With hurricanes, you get so much warning. And with those warnings, you should prepare. You should go out, buy plenty of water, non-perishable foods, so that because you know, it could cause power outages. And if that happens, then you're not exactly able to cook. Uh, you could purchase a generator, but you definitely want to do that within reason. Um, a good time ahead of the storm, because if you wait for last minute, guys, you will not find water. You will not find food. You definitely will not find a generator. I have personally experienced that where I waited till the last minute to go out and buy these things literally people clear out the shelves of water food and definitely generators so make sure that you do plan and you do get these things done ahead of time before it's the last minute and you just can't find anything i've literally been at the line in lowe's um as soon as the doors opened i was there and you know waiting in line to get a generator 
and sometimes those prices can be costly so you definitely want to plan and listen to those warnings you know always continuously watch the news and keep an eye on storms like this that are coming that's why i also wanted to record this video so that you guys get a feel of exactly what it looks like when we're expecting a hurricane here in south florida okay so with weather you know that brings me to reason number two when reasons not to move to south florida is power outages so after a hurricane power outages can occur well they will occur some areas will last a very long time without power hence why you want to prepare for those things as well the non-perishable food the water things like that because you have to be prepared for those things so power outages definitely follow after a hurricane with along with flooding so definitely get those things to prepare for those um, major two things but power outages don't only happen with hurricanes they also happen on a regular basis uh, we do get a, you know rain and thunderstorms here on a regular so power outages can occur throughout the year so you will be resetting your alarm clock your microwave clock your stove clock the different clocks around the house it does get annoying but those things do happen around here on a regular basis it's something you have to get used to and be prepared for literally if i'm at the office during the day i come home and the clock on my microwave or stove are you know blinking and i'm like oh well i guess the power went out today so it's kind of something that happens on a regular but you know through hurricanes that's where it lasts a little longer a uh, normal power outage on a regular usually does not last that long i have the main power source right behind my house literally seen fpl which is our local electric company and they come out and they have to like cut trees because maybe it was the wind that was blowing and the tree hit transformer that's what it's called it hits the transformer causes the power outage uh, so sometimes it's about a two three hour wait before they can come out you know they cut those trees down and they get the power back on but they definitely do get that going so power outages is number two if it's something that you really don't want to deal with okay reason number three not to move to south florida is people on vacation tourism our snowbirds that are visiting here to South Florida is something that you have to get used to around here. And it really is kind of a pain. So, you know, you have people that are from everywhere around here visiting, you know, at the beaches, they come and, and stay here, but you have to deal with the different styles of driving. Um, you have to deal with different attitudes of people. I've literally, you know, been walking into a store and the person in front of me just like doesn't even hold the door open. So sometimes the rudeness, you know, of those different personalities is something that you have to deal with here. The driving, uh, so of course I'm a realtor, I show properties and I have to give myself a good extra 10, 15 minutes before having to be to my destination because I just don't know what the traffic's gonna be like. You deal with people driving slow, you deal with people, you know, driving fast and cut you off in the middle of the road. You know, dealing with the tourism and people here on vacation is something else you have to deal with when moving here to South Florida. But you know, as long as you give yourself that extra time, plan your trip, pull it up on GPS, it'll tell you your ETA, and plan for those kinds of things because you just don't know what you're gonna hit. And I know that my maps gives me different options as far as time, the fastest time. Also, when, when looking at the GPS, it'll tell you, you know, is your route gonna have a toll that is included with that route? You can choose different routes so that you don't have to pay the toll. But, you know, one of our main highways is the Florida Turnpike, and that one does include tolls that you have to pay for. Now they've, they have it where it's like toll by plate. They take a picture of your plate, send you a bill in the mail, and it, otherwise you can buy a little sun pass and ride right through there without having to have a bill come in the mail. <laughs> Reason number five, not to move to South Florida, is the wildlife. Okay guys, I've, I literally grew up here in South Florida and I've seen everything, except I've never run into a gator. But there are, you know, stories that I've seen on the news that I've heard from friends. They'll literally be on a golf course playing some golf, um, hitting some balls, and there will be a gator on the course. Um, so gators is a big thing. I, I do some walking and running for exercise, and 
literally there are signs everywhere that say hey just beware of gators um, you know because it is a possibility right here in South Florida you deal with a lot of mosquitoes you deal with raccoons possums I've gone to take out the trash and there is a possum right there going through the trash and guys they are not scared they will literally look at you in the eyes and like they just want to shake your hand hey like what's up <laughs> so wildlife is a thing here there's all kinds um mosquitoes is a big deal because we are surrounded by water so it is expected mosquitoes is kind of a pain but you know there's candles you can buy there's spray that you can put on and you know it kind of helps out with that but wildlife is definitely a thing here in south florida there's lizards everywhere it's a, a lot of nature things going on there all right so if you're finding this video helpful definitely click that bell so that you're notified every time i post a new video and we are down to our last reason of not to move to south florida so number one guys is allergies okay throughout the year along with all that different weather that we have here in South Florida is allergies. There are times throughout the year where the pollen is very excessive in the air and it will bother you. I know that there's different, you know, pills and sprays and stuff that, you know, they offer over the counter. Definitely want to have that on hand because allergies is a real thing here. Uh, you know, there's grass everywhere, different kind of trees throughout I mean just the neighborhood that I'm recording this video in today we have palm trees we have pine trees we have all kinds of stuff going on here but definitely allergies is a big thing here so keeping that stuff on hand and in stock is a must I know that as soon as I walk out and I'm showing properties and things like that my nose itches my eyes water and you know definitely having those things on hand is a big big help so those are the top five reasons why you should not move to Florida. If those are deal breakers for you, then maybe South Florida is not the place for you. Um, if you have any additional questions or something I didn't touch base on, there is a link in the description where you could set up a one-on-one -on -one with me. Would love to chit chat and get to know you. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.